Hello, I want to talk all about AQA GCSE Computer Science Paper 2 in this video and introduce how this exam works and also my set of videos for this exam. So AQA A525 has two exams, Paper 1, Paper 2. Paper 2 on paper has a lot more content. It's a theory paper, so ranging from data representation, so binary hexadecimal computer systems, so hardware and software, network, security, SQL, and impacts of computing. They are all covered in paper two. So no programming, apart from a tiny bit of SQL, that's not really programming. I've got a separate set of videos on paper one, but to focus on paper two, which the title of this exam is Computing Concepts, to keep things nice and vague. This exam is one hour 45 minutes and is worth 90 marks. That is done at the end of year 11, usually a week or two after paper one, at least in the past. Now that's the same number of marks as paper one, they're both worth 50% of your final grade, but the exam for paper two is a little bit shorter because it is more of a straightforward exam. You're not doing programming questions, it's just a set of fairly typical questions which examine across that entire topic list. Now, standard advice for what to bring into the exam when you get that far, black pen, pencil, rubber, ruler, and you know backups, you know, take more than you need. But again, like paper one, calculator is not allowed. You're going to have to do those conversions and file size questions without any calculators, so make sure that is practiced. The actual structure of the paper will be approximately like this. It's never exact, but this is what the exam board are aiming for. About half of the paper is simply recalling theory. That's not just state and recall and give questions. It can be longer questions too, but it shows how important you sitting down and learning all of the topics is because it's half the paper. 40% is applying that theory, which again, you need to know in the first place. And 10% will be actually analyzing problems, which really means in my interpretation, writing code, which is only SQL in paper two. You're definitely not gonna ever dodge an SQL question. I would bet a lot of money on that. Now in this paper, like I say, pretty typical, very a range of questions, multiple choice, there'll be quite a few. There'll be some short answer ones, so one, two, three marks medium answer, say four, five, six marks, and there'll be at least one extended response question, which are typically about nine marks, give or take a couple either side. And for these questions, you need to show a sustained line of reasoning. They are not quality of written communication questions like other exam boards do and other subjects you might do have, you know, they haven't got an asterisk next to them. So spelling and grammar and so on is not that important, but they can't be bullet pointed. They've got to be fairly well written and I've got a separate video on how to answer these questions. It's within a video on exam technique, which will get linked in the description. Now just on how to get ready for paper two. My main advice, and I talk about this all the time to my students, is using the specification. So this is a document published by every exam board on their website. It's usually fairly obvious. I'll link the actual web page for AQA Computer Science in the description. Most of the document is not very useful for students, but the subject content part is because it lists exactly what is going to come up. AQA have done a great job writing this document. They've given lots of definitions and uh, they've clarified a lot of points which could have been a bit vague. They've done a good job, I would say, so make sure you use it. Tick it off as you're revising, make some notes on it, annotate it. That's what I used to do. That's my advice. As well as, of course, practicing questions. That's important after you've learned the content. Don't spend hours doing practice questions if you're just guessing at them. You've got to sit down in front of a book, in front of my videos, in front of whatever you're doing to revise the content, then do some practice. And make sure resources are specific to AQA, or if they're not specific to AQA, you are just aware of this fact and, and cross-check it with the spec. The code for this current AQA course, as I record it, is 8525. There are older versions. So 8520 was a previous version, which I've got videos on on my channel. That had no databases and paper one was a little bit different. So by all means use other resources, older resources. But what I'm trying to say is be a little bit more cautious and cross check with the specification is my advice. Now for my videos, I have got videos which are specific to paper two and 8525, not the old course. So make sure if you do use my videos, you use the paper two playlist. There'll be a link in the description. You can usually on YouTube pin it or add it to your playlists so it shows up on your homepage. 
and make sure you follow it in order if you're going to watch it. I've got similar videos on my channel. I make new videos from time to time. The playlist will be the latest version. There's a lot to learn, so hopefully the videos will teach you stuff if you haven't learned it yet or you missed a lesson at school or whatever happened. It should be enough to teach you, but ultimately also I'm hoping right before your exam you can rewatch them and watch it again and again to just revise the content. Making notes is definitely a good idea with the videos. Putting it into your own words is what's important, but crucially use them later on. Don't just do an exercise in copying from my slides. Make sure you are thinking about it hard and ultimately referring back to it down the line. Well, I haven't got too much else to say. I personally absolutely adore Paper 2. I think it's such a good set of topics. You might uh, have a different opinion, we'll see. Please revise it hard if you have got an exam coming up and I wish you the best of luck when the time comes to do that test.